doors locked, Wally. You trying to keep me out. Oh, big rig. <laughs> How you going? Where yeah. you up to? Ah, oh, just sorting through some gear. Oh yeah. Hey, I've got some nice loins here. Oh, beauty. 850 kilos he had on him. Knackers the size of bowling balls they were. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, here's trouble. The man is about to sign his life away. Hello, darling. G'day, Barb. Now, tell me this. Who gets engaged and then sets a date for less than three weeks later? Mad as a bloody hatter. Oh, get it over with, I reckon. Either way, he's doomed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Darlene's a good one. But why so soon, though? You've got to build your stamina up for these things. Yeah, well, Darlene said she'd always want to get married before she was 30. Mm. So we've got three weeks. Let's do it. Oh, always the romantic, eh? Nice. Hey, listen, I've got some nice rum for you. I'll put it in the fridge with Greg's. No worries, that's great. Right, Alec. How you going? <laughs> yeah, good, mate. Have a look at this. Ten grand each if we win. Yeah, prize money's great. We can't afford to go on this. What if I said we could? Yeah. We use some of your honeymoon money. No way, darling, and murder me. Not when we come back with ten grand each. Have a look at the rules, mate. They are made for us. Yeah, it is right up our alley. Sold. We're going. But we're. Get the quickie for the road. Going in a fishing cot, mum. Oh, that'll be good. Oh yeah. Ten grand each if we win. You told Sharon you're going. You're not gonna go without telling her, are you? No, I just thought... Yeah, I'd mate, be... actually, I, I yeah. don't reckon Darlene... All right, I'll tell her. I think it'd be better. Can't, we just can't let the girls get in the way of this, mate. There's too much money at stake here. I mean, you could have two honeymoons with that sort of coin. Yeah, and we could be having two funerals if we come home empty-handed. No, we'll win. Gotta be in it to win it, love. That's right. <laughs> Right, I better go up and do these rosters. Oi, what is the latest down the other side? Don't ask. It's when I get my hands on the cretin who is trying to shut us down. What are they saying this time? You know what? They reckon that we are not following standard culling procedures. What? Yeah. Is that true? Of course it's not true, knucklehead. I love those beasts. Every one of them. Yeah, no. No, yeah. No, that's right. Mongrels. Right, I'm off. <laughs> Real off. <laughs> Have fun fishing. Okay, Mum, take care. Can't believe they're still trying to shut it down. Hang on, we've got a problem here. What? Each team must consist of one male and one female. Done. Thank you so much. This woman understands. This woman understands that cows have as much right to life as we do, as humans. Okay, what, who would eat a baby here? No, I'm not seeing any hands up. Yet, I walked into the butchers the other day. What did I see? I saw baby cow sold for $8.50 a kilo. It's not cool. We're eating mm, murdered meat, awesome. people. Oh. Where the earth yeah? angels? What do you think about that? That's everything that we do in it. We do some great stuff. Have oh. a read. Thanks. Lisa, please welcome my friend from philosophy, Shell. Can we be a bit more sparing with the pamphlets, guys? They're running out. She's a bit stressed. Who are you? I'm Shell. Oh, oh my I'm God. so sorry. Get these pamphlets out of the way. Go get Master Friend some more chai tea now, please. Yes, Lisa. Um, I heard you guys got the Molina Passage made into a conservation zone. That's incredible. Yeah, well, you know, anything to curb the proliferation of murder under the guise of fishing. I'm surprised to read that the Fantel Flathead's almost extinct. What are extinct? Oh, flathead, Lisa, remember? Our scientist friend, Javier, and his, shall we say, unique findings into the shockingly low population of this exquisite fish. Oh, yes, Master Friend, of course. Well, my brother used to catch Flathead down there all the time. Then your brother is a barbarous murderer. Let me tell you something about the future of these fisher folk. Fishing is immoral, obviously. So the more scientists we can, shall we say, employ to support the theory of dwindling stocks, the more politicians we can influence. Hence more areas of the ocean get protected. But aren't you then promoting corrupt science? We're promoting the right to life for all living things. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, what's your next project? Cattle rights on page four. 
If we need an extra hand, we'll be in touch. Okay, thanks. Sounds great. So how long will you be gone? No, uh, not long. Maybe a day or two. Three. Long enough to lose some wages? Yeah, well, I'm on holidays. Unpaid holidays? Yeah, the prize money will make up for that. Since when have you won anything? Ah, uh, since high school, if you remember. Exactly. Well, it wasn't that long ago. Besides, you're supposed to be building that pergola you've been promising me since we moved here. Yeah, hun, I've actually thought about that. And we're not going to be needing it, because we're... Uh, gonna... we do, Greg, okay? So forget your little fishing trips. No, that's what the prize money's forget for. Forget your little fishing trips and start planning, all right? And do something about that dingy ratty hairdo, okay? Wedding's less than three weeks away. Darling's not like that, I just feel bad, that's all. Yeah, wait till you're married. You bring the nonos? Yeah, they're in the tackle box. Alright. Uh, makeup? Uh, next to it. Where's the dress? Yeah, it's in the back seat. Go on. What, now? Yep. We're not even there yet. I don't care, mate. It could be. Competition people catching this barge. Are you serious? I'm really sorry, hun. I'll only be for a couple of days. Yeah, no, it's a surprise for the honey, mate. Yeah, no, I love you too. You need to focus on more important things. The wedding is less than two weeks away, and at this rate, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Shaz. It's just I've got a massive exam, and I really need to study. You can study, just not that. Well, look, page 33. You can look stunning, and so will I in that bridesmaid's dress. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> you got that right. I bet it costs a fortune, though. Let's get one thing straight. It's Bass's job to provide the money, your job to provide him with a stunning bride. I know, and I will. It's just I've really got to get this done. Where is Bass, anyway? Um, he's out somewhere with Greg planning a surprise for our honeymoon. <laughs> I'm sure if Greg's involved, you're going to end up with a night in a motor inn. Now, turn to page 15. There's a bunch of candlesticks which I love. Oh, and that three-tier cake I shared the other day, not negotiable. <laughs> G'day mate, you must be the tournament coordinator. Yeah mate, Dan. Yeah, how you going mate? Yeah, the missus is just, she's just, um, yeah no, that's normal. Um, she just uh, doesn't like the bugs and that, you know. Oh right. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. So these are the forms? Yeah, yeah, uh, just have them filled when you submit your catch. Our winning catch. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, it's looking good out there mate, looking good. No, not there, out there. Yep. All right, well, uh, we'll catch up with you, hey? When we're on the winner's podium. Yeah, well, no worries. Uh, good luck. All right. No worries, mate, eh? Hey? Take care, eh? Hey? I knew we should have fished the main channel. Well, this is the best place on a new moon. Well, it's not new anymore, is it? Halfway to full. 
Well, besides, we got comforts, you know, cold showers, dunnies, bins. Well, listen to the lady with his little creature comforts, hey? He's got all the wheel. Hey, that's real. my rod. We're my on, fish. We're on. My fish. No, no fun bags, no camera, no rod. Well, I'm taking over when I get back. I can't get it in! Take it, take it! I'm trying! Hey, not too hard, mate! Don't pull too hard! I told you, not too much pressure! You stupid woman! I'm sorry. Mate, I'm not going to quit my job to start tagging sharks. Why not? The winner said he could make a good crust out of it. Just because he won a comp tagging a big shark doesn't mean it's a steady job. Yeah, but it could be. You know, through those shark scientists, researchers he was talking about. We don't even know how to catch a shark. How hard can it be? They're everywhere. We just use heavier gear. And how are we going to afford the gear? We're already at Grand Dam. Darling's going to flip. Yeah, well, she doesn't need to know about that. And you still got some money left in that honeymoon account, don't you? Mate, no. What other choice have we got? I mean, seriously, we invest the money into some gear, and then we make the missing grand back with a couple of tagged sharks. Right, hippie mung beans back. Yeah, so is Darlene. Look, I might just sit tight, mate. There's no reason for me to go inside. Hey? I don't want to lie to Darlene about the money. Mate, come on. Fall down seven times, get up eight. You and Darlene are going to be living the dream in no time. Come on. Chick from, I don't know, some TV show. Ladies! I didn't realise we were celebrating. And it's a big hello to the murderers. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at an emu convention or something? That's emo, you troggler diet. And no, because I'm not actually emo. Well, what are you then? Huh? Someone with a clear conscience. Where's the prize money? Didn't win a prize, but we did get another job. Tagging sharks. Big money. You went fishing? I thought you were organising a surprise for our honeymoon. I was. We, we were. We, we did. Yeah, wait till you see what we've got going, hun. Big rig! <laughs> Good timing. G'day, gang. Are <laughs> uh, you fixed me a cup of woolly? Oh, yeah, no worries. You alright, Carl? What's Bass done this time? Just another typical male, disappearing when he's needed. What? Oh, that's okay, babe. Listen, love, you'll soon realise that all men are useless. So if they love you and they're loyal to you, then that's all you're ever going to get. <laughs> that's exactly right, Barb. Don't you start, Buster. And don't you ever go away without telling her again, you hear me? Or you'll find yourself down the abattoir. Yeah, sorry, Barb. Not to me, to her! Oh, yeah, sorry, Darb. It, it won't happen again, I promise. Oh, they're all useless, aren't they, Shaz? Oh. You having one? She's pretty upset, mate. I don't like lying to her. Yeah, I know, but think of it as a lie that does good, you know? Like, you know when you're watching the telly and they come out and they say, Hun, does this make my bum look big? And you really want to say, no, hun, it's not the dress. It's, it's actually all the hamburgers you're eating. But no, you say, hun, you look stunning. 10 out of 10. It's the same thing now, mate. But Darlene does have a great ass. Yeah, but only from side on. I mean, if you look down. Anyway, that's, that's besides the points. Mate, all you got to do is take her home tonight, you know, give her some good rests, and then tomorrow, get up early, I'll give the researchers a buzz, and away we go. All right, well, we've got to get that money back. The wedding's in two weeks, I haven't even booked the honeymoon. Yeah, I know, mate. Just don't get us in over our heads, okay? No.
Don't be going in there telling them we're catching 15 foot sharks or anything stupid like <laughs> no, that. No, the yarns will be small, mate. Don't worry. So what size fish were you expecting to catch? Usually around the uh, 15 foot mark. We've got this great little spot that's local and no one knows about, so... Yeah. You right, mate? Mm. No, he's just got a bit of eczema. He'll be right. Well, that certainly is very impressive size. Unprecedented, actually. Yeah, they're, they're big. We may need to get some larger tags. I'm not sure if the ones that we have will penetrate the skin of a shark that big. No worries. 15 foot. Now, it's unheard of to catch a fish in this area of that size. This is very exciting information. Yeah, for us too. I mean, we're excited that you're excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is it just is it just you two? Yeah, it just us. It's incredible. How do you handle a one-ton shark? Ton. Um, um, um. Because obviously it's impossible to get a tiger that size onto the sand and then back into the water with just two guys. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, that's right. We just get into the um, water with it. Wow. Impressive. I'd love to see that. Yeah, me too. I mean, I've, I've seen it heaps. I just meant from, yeah, I've, I've only seen it in your head. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, as you know, we work really hard at this, so we're just wondering what the chances are of an advance payment, just to spruce the gear up in that. We don't do advance payments. We pay you when you take a shark over six feet with the appropriate footage and paperwork, of course, if that's all right. Right. Yeah, that's, that's no worries. Wonderful. Well, all eyes are on you now. <laughs> Mate, we are seriously stuffed. Mate, it's fine. As long as they're six footers, we get paid. They don't all have to be 15 footers. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to see Jose. Jose, why? Well, if we're going to get footage, we're going to need a camera, right? Plus, I was thinking we could make ourselves a bit of a doco along the way. A doco? You like that, mate? It's my gift to you and Darlene. We can't afford a new camera. I thought we were just going to use the old one. Yeah. Besides, I've got to pick up Darlene's wedding ring, Masato. Yeah, and that's the next thing I was going to talk to you about. You've only given them the deposit for that, right? Yeah. Well? No! No way, mate, Greg! Mate, we will make that money back in no time. Yeah, it's just a business loan. I mean, we've got to buy one of those big reels anyway, remember? It's Entrepreneur 101, you've got to spend money to make money. This is a better work, Greg. Hey, Devo, why are you trying to mess with me? I, I asked for four boxes, you give me three. Now, either you find the last box, or I find you and I bring my gun, Devo. Yeah. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Hey! Jose. It's the boys. How are you, mate? Hello. How you doing? Yeah, good, good. That's good. What can I do for you? Uh, basically, we're making a doco. Doco, you? Yeah. So we're, You we're need ready. camera. Exactly. Yeah. You like? It's perfect. How yeah. much? Uh, how much? Uh, 700. 700? It's good quality, from Japanese. Uh, how about 600? 750. Hey? Okay, 800. Um, hang on. 850. Hang on, wait, wait. What? I'll okay, relax, go... relax. Okay? I give it you for 900. But Jose, we're bargaining here. You can't keep going up. You're supposed to go down. Yeah. I go down. I go down there. Get my gun. Alright. Okay. 
so 900 then. 900, okay. <coughs> okay, um. Yeah. Can we pay you off? Yeah, yeah. Good. Over the next three minutes, you pay off. How's uh, that? We're gonna need some time to pay it off. No time. You pay now. Jose. 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 Gun. Right. Good card. There's a wedding ring. Yeah, well, better luck than our brains, you know. Mates rates. Yeah, right. It says here lifetime warranty. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So do we come to you if it stuffs up? <laughs> well, if you may. And you'll pay to fix it? <laughs> but it means as long as your life changes. That's right, and <laughs> obviously we'd have to be alive in order to bring it back, <laughs> right? <laughs> but you may not leave this place alive. Right. Right. Go. Thank, thank you. Best not to break camera now, boys. Huh? Yeah, I know, and you will meet them. No, I'm not ashamed of you, babe. It's just I'm not ready to introduce you yet. Soon, I promise. And I love you, okay? Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay, bye. Ready, 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 ready? Okay, you okay, ready? Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, you don't like it? No, it's... <laughs> it's actually pretty good, huh? You've really surprised me. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, God, look at this floor space here. Come on, you stand there. It's okay. perfect for the bouquet. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. One, two, turn around. Oh. <laughs> two, three. Woo! <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Oh, well done. Okay, so where is everything going? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so the band will be here. Hey Daisy, how are you? I'm so great. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Nothing, why? Are you up for our next mission? <laughs> Truly? Yeah, I'll pick you up 7.30. <laughs> Fantastic, well, where are we going? Abattoir, Project Cattle Rights. Okay, um... You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what exactly are we doing there? You'll find out. See you tonight. Yep, yeah, sure thing. You know what, Chaz? None of this is important to me. I just want it all to be over so Bass and I can go to Fiji. Ah, uh, that's nice. But uh, there are actually other people in this wedding as well. Oh yeah, I know. I, for one, don't wish to just go through the motions. No, of course not. It's just that there's so much to organise. Anyway, where are we sitting? Yep, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> Well, what I thought, Bass and I will be here, and um, you and Greg, our bridal party, will be on the front table down here. No, we're supposed to be up there with you. Yeah, but Bass and I decided it would just be us two. No, the bridal party is supposed to be on the top tier with the bride and groom. Well, that's just not going to happen, Shaz. I don't know why you want all the attention anyway. As long as if your family's going to be here. Anyway, let's go check out the venue for the ceremony, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's 
rancid. Okay, let's move. What did you get? Once we go in, I want you to follow Rain. He'll have his back to the camera. I want you to make sure you see him dropping meat on the floor and then putting it back on the sorting table. Go! Go! That mother needs to carry on her little wings! Daisy! What was in the plastic bag? Cow manure? What? Why? Because tomorrow they're having an inspection. And when they test the meat, the inspector will have a conniption fit and then they'll shut the place down. And you were just getting more unhygienic footage. An illegal meeting. So, Shell, where does this fisherman brother of yours live? An inspector? Why? Fecal what? Righto, you name me one person who's chucked because they ate one of our steaks. Exactly. Listen, you tell this ring-leading Fran Japan that when I get my mitts on him, I don't care. I'll find out. Righto, and you get onto it or you'll be on the list too. What are they saying now? Oh, high levels of faecal coliforms in the meat. What's a faecal coliform? Shit, Wally, shit. They reckon some independent scientist has found traces of crap in the samples. No, that's not true, Tonka. Everyone knows that. Oh, you got that right. I'll be dead before they shut that place down. No, it's not going to happen, Mum. Bloody oath, no. Righto, what are we doing? Okay, um, are you, are you, are you calm? No, I'm not calm, Wally. Do I look calm? No, Mum, no. I just, um, don't want to... <laughs> Anyone to get injured. You keep batting the breeze while I'm standing in 100 degree heat, you might just end up that way. Yep, no, that's right. Okay, um, we just need you to pretend to be a shark while Bass films me. Oh. All right, if you just want to lay down. Okay, uh, okay we're on. Mm. Okay. How's that? Yeah. Right. Hey, how about I put a bit of life into it? You know, pretend like I'm thrashing about a bit, you know, um, it, it, it could help, you know, you could really get into it that way. What, you mean you'll try and attack me? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Bass, click that thing over. Come on, let's get into it. Come on, Pip. Hey, you've got to get on top of me. Hang on, Mum. Hang on. I've just got to get... Hey, mate, I'm getting out of control. Yeah, yeah. I've just got to get my leg. Yeah, yeah, well, hey, listen. Oh, ah. Ah. Hang on. Quick, wait. Ah. Come on, mate. Come on, sir. Ah. I can't speak from a shark. And you better be quick, I'll take you out to sea. Remember to go on top of these beasts before they tear you apart. Breathe through it, boy, eh? Get up! Oh, get up, get up, get up, there's nothing, can't breathe. Oh, what are you doing? Peck fin. You know, that's that um, fin that comes out sideways from their body. You want to uh, take care of your knackers, Wally. Reckon you might need to wear a groin guard. Jeez, that, <coughs> what the, that came from nowhere. That's right. Oh. They play dirty, those beasts. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Righto. Righto, I reckon I'll stay a bit now, mate. No worries, she's ready to roll. Yeah, g'day. We're just on our way to one of our favourite spots, which is renowned for some man-eaters. How do um, you know that? Um, because we've tagged them there before. How big? What type? We, um... Hang on, cut, cut. Why are you asking me questions? I just want to make it like I'm interviewing you. Well, you're frazzling me, okay? So just don't say anything. I just thought it'd be more real, you know? <laughs> well, I don't know the answer to your questions, mate. Neither of us does. So just quit with the very bad interviewer routine, okay? Okay. All right, we ready? Yep. Yeah, g'day. We're just on our way to one of our favourite spots, which is renowned for some man-eaters. Um, yeah, so we've got some great conditions. It's nice and muggy. It's going to be overcast later, so, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, cut. How was that? Yeah, whatever. Mate, that's an overhead reel. You can't cast with them. Watch me. Righto! <laughs> Do it again! 
had my thumb on the score. Yeah, 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 no, that was it. Now it should work this time. <laughs> Crying out loud. Why didn't we think of this? How are we going to get the baits out, mate? Hang on, I got an idea. A Shanghai. What the hell's a Shanghai? Yeah, g'day. We're just going to show you one of our innovative techniques for getting baits out into the water. Today we're going to be using a Shang Choi. Shanghai. Shanghai. Don't get mud on me. Mate, we're at the beach. Alright, we're ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, hold still. Yep, I've just got to get the strength. Okay, go. Alright, hold still. I'm trying. Hold still. If you wouldn't pull like a Mack truck, I might be able to. Oh, I spread, spread your legs wider. Just wider. Or hold still, spread them wider. I'm trying. Oh, this is ridiculous. I am not Mrs. Pilates, okay? What are we gonna do? I've got 80 staff under me, Phil. What are they supposed to do without wages? I'm sorry, Barb, but we have to follow protocol. I have followed protocol for nearly 30 odd years, and this is the first time we've ever had a glitch. I know, but... Things do change. Oh, look, I tell you, when I get my hands on the person who's playing games here... As far as I'm aware, there's no games being played. Oh, wake up, you pencil-necked twit. Of course there's foul play. Life is too short to be bullied by those bongo-bashing buffoons. <laughs> Something funny? I've always been a bit dubious of that cliche, life is short. Oh yeah? Why is that? Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing that'll do that'll be longer. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and what might that be? Be dead. Okay, look, we'll be in touch. Just try and stay calm, all right? Brought you some leftover bait to eat. Thanks, love. What is it? Just some of those livers you gave us. Oh, tar love. <laughs> Can't believe they shut you down. Yeah, sorry, Big Rig. Thanks, you two. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna fight them tooth and nail. They ain't got the best of me, pet. And that's the spirit. <laughs> so how'd you two Wallies get on last night? Oh. Not too well if I'm the one going to be eating the bait. Shocking. Couldn't even soak a bait. Hey, why? I need to work out a way to get them into the channel. Need a boat. Sounds expensive. Hey. Yup. Almost as expensive as a wedding ring and honeymoon. I'll fix you a couple more. Thanks, love. Reckon I should get shut down more often. <laughs> We might. Come have a look at this. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, it's perfect, but... What? It's a 20-foot boat. Not the boat, the crocs. What crocs? What crocs? The crocs in the pool. What about them? Oh, they're sturdy enough. Both get a paddle each. No way, mate. What? I'm, I'm not spending another cent. You don't have to. We use these ones. Mate, that's some kid's toy. You can't just take it from them. Oh, they've got Noah's Ark there to play. We're only borrowing them anyway. That's not the point. Yeah, hold the port, mate. If you hear mum coming, let me know. Mate. Yeah, okay, mate, I don't mind. Done. Well, what do you reckon we hit the creek later and get some bait? Because we've got to get a shark in by tomorrow. Yep. Yep. I've got no ring, no Fiji, no honeymoon. I oh, know, mate. But fall down seven times, get up eight. Okay? We've got these now. I just, I just prefer the red roses. Uh, no. My dress is champagne pink. 
Clash? Well, I can't. It's too heavy. Oh, God, there's so much to think about. What's to think about? Look, we're on display together, remember? We need to compliment each other, not look like circus freaks. Oh, take his back, you brickhead! Oh, don't stand him up! Oh, actually shut it down. How angry she was. G'day. Oh, get out. Hey, how'd you go? Yeah, we got some eels, but one of them got me as well. Oh, hang on, I think he's been bitten by a shark. <laughs> well, 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 what did I tell you? Um, that you've got the head of a Brahmin bull. Sucked in, squid features. Hey, look, there's a hippie. What? <laughs> no, don't, don't, hey, don't. She hasn't had a shower in two weeks. Oh, get out of it, you two. Hey, what happened? The eel grabbed me. Yeah, it's pretty hairy stuff. Yeah, I thought it was, uh... Gonna drag me back into the drink there for a second. Yeah, I reckon. God, Greg, it's filthy. Yeah. You should fit in with the rest of him then. It needs to be debrided. Hmm. Not the only thing that needs debriding. It'll get infected. Oh, it's just a scratch. You'll live. Hey, did you grab that eel? Yeah, we got a few out back. Oh, a ripper. We might whack a couple on the beef eater. Nice crunchy heads on those things. Hold the fine, B, Greg. They're our bait. Oh, yeah, but you got to have a couple of spare for your mum. Oh, mate, we could use a hand killer. them. Righto, mum, if you can put them to sleep, you can take one home. Oh, beauty! I need to practice my neck cranks anyway. Your no. Uncle Bevan... You are not killing anything in my presence. Well, then get unpresent. Mum, when they're done, whack them straight in the chesty. Ah. I know what you're saying, but they have a bigger gait. So oh, they're, they're yeah, a better yeah. purpose hook for what we want. Where are you off to? Salon, why? Well, we have a lunch for Mum, if you remember. And? And it would be nice if you could come along. Well, I booked this appointment weeks ago. Do you want me looking like a tramp at the wedding? Seriously. That's the spirit. Where's Darlene? Is she coming? Yeah, we're going to support Barb. Well, I can't book another appointment for tomorrow. I just want to look at your best. I know I will be. Darlene already looks beautiful. <laughs> okay. Do you have the keys? Yep. Can I have them? Yep. Maybe we should have got some treatment for that thing, eh? Nah, it's alright. It's just, when I put it above my head, it stops hurting. Weird, isn't it? It's crazy. Boy, did you get the eels out of the chesty? Yeah, but there was only one. What? Yeah, mate, all the others were gone. How? We're gonna need a padlock for that thing, or she's gonna keep raiding it. As if a padlock's gonna stop her, she's got bolt cutters for hands. Well, we're gonna have to figure something out. She's gonna go crazy when we start putting that roadkill in there. Mm. What the hell did she do with roadkill? Eat it. Said. We're gonna have to figure something out. She can't keep eating the bait. It's gonna be worse too, with the abattoir being put on hold. Why? No meat. She's gonna need some comfort food, you know, like when girls get depressed, they, they eat ice cream, chocolate. Makes it feel better. Alright, well, look, i will just... So, um, when Sam get back? I oh, can't wait to meet this bloke of yours. Nah, <laughs> you'll be waiting a while. How long's it been? Six months? No one's seen him, met him, heard him. Where's Wally? <laughs> <laughs> You're not eating much today, Mum. Kilo of rump and some chippies ain't doing too bad, Wally. Yeah, but normally you'd have the muscle burger with the lot as well. Nah, I got a bit of gas. 
poor old Russ had to sleep in the lounge room last night. Tooting like a trumpet, I was. Mum, that's so uncouth. No, that's nature. Unlike that cock feathered hair of yours. So, um, what do you reckon's causing your gas? Oh, just a bit of dust settling. Nothing to worry about, Pet. Do you reckon it might have been something you ate? No chance. Your Uncle Bevan doesn't call me steel guts for laughs, Wally. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know, but, um, uh, Bass and I just need to talk to you about something. Mind you, if they shut down the abattoir, this might be the last rump that we'll all eat for who knows how long. It's just temporary, Barb. You know, you'll be back on your feet in the next couple of days, guaranteed. I don't know, love. Seems like they're out to get me. I mean, I don't know what I've done to deserve this trot. 30 years that place has been like my baby. It's like an heirloom, you know. First there was your granddad, and then Uncle Bevan, and now me. I tell you, the minute I find out who's behind this, they're gonna wish they were dead. Yeah, that's right, Barb. We'll find them, Tonka. You know, rip them to shreds and hang them up by their King G's. Oh, I'd hate to be them. We're right behind you, Barb. Thanks, love. Where are you going, Pat? Uni, I've got a lecture at one. Oh, you silly duffy, you should have said something. Here, look, why don't you take a sanger with you? Go. You sure you're right? Yep, I'll see you later. You know, she's not wrong. <laughs> no, I've been saying that for the past 19 years. <laughs> Watch it, boy -o. And what did you two want to talk to me about? Yeah, no, it was nothing. Nah, yeah, no, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Yeah. I've just tied the bait around the tail here. So we just paddle out to the channel once we get there, drop it off, come back in and wait. Easy. Well, why do I need to come? Safety in numbers. Come on. Daisy. Hey, babe. Did you hear the news about the abattoir? Shut down. I heard. Only temporarily, but still, once we deliver that final blow, finito. Final blow? You mean the footage? Yeah. Master Friend thinks they'll be back in operation within a week, on a probationary basis only, of course. But when that happens, we just slip the disc into our seedy inspector's hand and voila. Right. Don't you just love the way the world works? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, where exactly is the footage? In our homeroom, of course. Speaking of, are you coming to Lennon's Awakening this afternoon? It's free drinkies. Uh, possibly. Yeah, um, listen, I've got to go, but I'll see you this afternoon, okay? Sure thing, babe. Three o'clock. Okay. Ciao! Oh, I think we've come far enough, mate. Just a bit further. Mate, this is far enough as it is. Besides, I think I just saw something. Can you just row? No, I, I think we'll just stay here, okay? You want the wedding ring? Row. What was that? What? So we just touched on the boat. We're not in boats, mate. Beatrice and Betty are crocodiles. Crocs you going with Babel. Just row. Yeah, no, I just felt something too. Oh, we're gonna die! Hang on, just stay We're gonna die! Oh no! Oh, what, what's wrong? Oh, Beatrice, mate! What? The hook's just put a hole in her, I'm going down! Oh, take me down, make it quick! Mayday! Mayday! What the hell are you doing? It's the international distress signal! Who the hell is gonna hear us out here, you dipstick? Quick, grab me, grab me, give me a pass! We're going in, mate, we just gotta go in, go! Ah, well. Can't say you didn't try. Yep. Hey, what about camels? What about them? Camels? They're taking over the desert. I reckon if you could wrangle a few, you'd get a good price for them. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Sell them to the overseas market. Hmm? Yeah, right. Hey, 
Great, Bess. Can you come here for a minute? Um, I need a DVD for uni. Are these ones blank? Um, I don't know. Greg bought them with my money. Um. Oh, right, Greg! Yeah? Are these DVDs blank? The ones on the table are. Oh, right, right. Go, go have a go. Okay, I've got to go. Bye. Hey, where are you chuffing off to? Uni. Gosh, she likes to study that girl. Right. Looking forward to tonight? Yeah, I guess. I bought that rum that Uncle Bevan gave me, a bit of the old fight juice. Yeah, well, just remember, Mum, no king of the cage. All right, Bass can't get hurt. Oh, come on, I always take it easy. You know I do, Wally. Mum, you broke his arm last time. Yeah, well, that'll learn you. But we have a base because we can stand on the ground. I mean, if you're a fish, you can't even have a base chakra. Yeah. I, think we I just don't understand. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rain, please take a photograph. Thank you, Rain. Ah, Shell. Hi, Shell. Rain, we'll have another photograph. Shell, join us. Lisa, make some room, darling. Thank you. Shell, please. Sit down. That was very heroic what you did that night. Closer. You look better for the photograph. Thank you, Rain. Um, I think I'm just going to go to the loo. Oh. Daisy, would you like to have a photograph? Shell, don't forget, tonight, the community centre at 8 o'clock. A sharing moment. Master Friends, Math Zen Long Demo. Chi Transference. Without touch. Right, um, I'll see you there. She's lovely. I love her. Mm. I can't believe it's tomorrow, you must be so nervous. No, I'm okay. <laughs> well, here's the bride to be. Cheers! Up your back, back! Up your back! Up your back! Yeah! 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 Anyway, I just can't wait for it all to be over so I can kick back on the beach with that and <laughs> Cheers! Um, uh, uh, what do you mean over with? Relish the day, girls. I ain't gonna get much merrier. <laughs> The Lady of Honor? Oh, lady of Honor, that ain't me. <laughs> oh, Troy. No, that's Troy Daffery is off. Someone else can have it. <laughs> My friends are here. <laughs> Let's drink to that, eh? No, 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 mate, I'm done. Oh, 
You're as weak as wet whistles of the both of you. Oh, hey, darling, I thought you'd be with the girls. Thought you'd come and join the men, eh? Ha! <laughs> Can we talk? this. Call the police and ask them to arrest Master Friend. He's at the community centre. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, darling. Oh. Just watch it now, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're going to be so angry with me. Oh, Shell Pet, it's okay. Shell, I won't be angry. Those slides. Cunning, veggio eating, bongo bangers. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's get sitting, big rig. Where is no the beers? No time for beers, Buster. It's time for justice. Get up. You two, Wallaroo, call a cab. We're out of here. Let's go. Prepare for reaction to thine unborn action. Hey! I want you to come tomorrow. No, 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 no. I'm. I don't want to hide this anymore. Yeah, really. I. I want you to be there. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. There's a space. <laughs> Go there now. Thanks, mate. Oi, get up! What the? Get up! Seriously, what time is it? It's time to make some money, mate. What are you talking about? Jose just called. There's a big tiger shark patrolling that beach at Sands Point. Oh, no way. Yep. Showtime, mate. Oh, the crocs. They're in the truck. Oh, don't worry about Beatrice and Betty, mate. We don't need them. That channel's like 10 metres away. We can hoist the damn bait out. You beauty. Oh, let's go. Can't see anything happening in there, mate. Nah, she's here, I can feel it. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, come on, come on, get the gimbal, mate! 
<laughs> well, this is it, love. Yeah. Oh, ten years down the beaten track, you'll be looking back on this day in Rewind. And you'll love the part where you walk back down the aisle, you get back into the car and you bugger off a single lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> get the camera. Come on, Ross, take a photo of the girls. Come on, darling. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, hey, I wasn't ready. Let's get the show on the road. Come on, Brad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah, did you see that? Yeah. I gained 10, she takes 80. Just keep the pressure on till turn. And what time is it? Show on the road. Come on, darling. Hey, yeah. Russ, take one more photo, darling. Oh, oh you look beautiful. Thanks, Thanks, Oh, it's exciting. Oh, get the camera. Come on, let's go. Come on. Are you right? Yeah. There's no way we're going to raise this girl in that time. Just keep going. Mate, it's your wedding. Yeah, well, it's going to be my funeral if we don't get some money, so just get at it. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. Come on. Yeah, hold on, here you go. Now you're right, you're right, you're right. Come on. Here you go, darling. Can you get You're right? Yeah, you're good. Alright. Come on, look right there. Oh. Oh, what is that smell? Yeah, something's off. Oh, where's it coming from? I can't smell a thing, love. Oh. Oh. oh, I think you might have sat in something, love. What? Oh. What is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, look, look. oh, yeah, you have. Hold on. I'll get it all. Oh. Oh. Liver juice. Silly buggers. They must have left this in here and forgot to take it out. Hey, Russ, get a photo of this, hey? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, can we get this damn liver juice out of my dress? We can, but you're still going to reek. You're going to walk around as high as a dingo's howl, love. I can't believe Greg, he's... <laughs> Maybe we should just get another dress. Excuse me? This is my dress and I will do with it as I please. OK, fine. Let's just go. Mm -hmm. It's up to you, mate. You're gonna have to let her go. Every bloody time something stuffs up. Why? Should've worn our suits, giving us more time. Oh no. I don't think Mademoiselle's gonna get the mud off that dress. Oh, we should have grabbed one of her evening gowns. Oh, yeah, I think she's hell-bent on wearing that one. Yeah, well, it isn't about her. No, it's not. But you know what? I think there's another one in the back of the truck. Really? Mm -hmm. Here, look. <gasps> Cop a load of this. Bob, it's perfect. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, Russ, park the car. Come on. See you, Russ. You, you did pick them up, right? I can't believe this. You have got to be kidding me. What do you, what? Forget coin mate, they're shot, what are we gonna do? Jose. Yeah, what about him? Suits, he'll have suits. Why the hell would Jose have suits? Mate, it's Jose, he's got everything, okay? We've gotta go there anyway to get your wedding ring out of the gumball machine. <laughs> yeah, great, great, Greg. That's just great. Pull down seven times, get up eight, that's our motto. 
That is the most stupid saying I've ever heard. What? Why? Because if you fall down seven times and you get up seven, you're already up. You can't get up eight because you haven't been knocked back down eight times. Seven, Greg! Fine, fall down seven times, get yeah, up six. It. Jose, mate, we're in big trouble. Why are you just standing there? This is the definition of a crisis? At least see if you can find me a champagne or something. What, for the dress? I need a drink. God, who goes to their wedding in a limit infested truck? Seriously, wedding equals limo. Not even complete idiots know that. God, my life is infested with a bunch of amateurs. Thanks again, Greg, you useless, slap-happy, uncivilised moron. Uh, and don't even get me started on bats. Right, that's it. We're changing your dress. No, it's fine. The month's faded and we can deal with the smell. I'm not having you standing on the altar smelling of cow liver. Well, it's too late to go back and get another dress, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Actually, no. I'm not just going to have to deal with it, Sharon. You can wear this one. You've got to be joking. No! I'm not joking. You have made this entire day, my day, all about you. The dress colour, the earrings, the cake. Every single damn thing has been about what Sharon wants. Well, guess what? Today is the day I am getting married. It's my day with my choices and I am telling you to get in there and wear this dress that I choose. Hurry up! That's the stuff champions are made of. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah? <laughs> Female, and yes, we are together. That's right. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, together as one intimate. Uh, where was I? Oh, oh yes, uh, uh, Darlene and Bess, uh, a man and a woman. Are you aware and willing to accept the permanency of the bond you are about to form? I am. Bess? Hey? Are you aware? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Yes. Okay. Now, may I ask the groomsman and the bridesmaid to please hand over the wedding rings? Greg. Greg! Hey? The ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. No worries. It's just a spare. The real birth is coming, don't you worry. Now, as I'm aware, the couple have opted to make their own vows. Yes. Oh. Right, right oh. Darlene. Bass, I give you this ring as a token of my perennial love and my loyalty to you. Accept this ring and embrace my unwavering acceptance of you now and always. Bass, I, I give you this ring from a token machine. From, from, um, from um, I mean, uh, a token of my love. And, uh, uh, 
Oh. I love you. I love you too, mate. No, not me, to her. Oh, and um, I love you. You look good. You look stunning. <laughs> you um, make the bed nice. You make the bed really, really nice. We've lost a little bit of money. We've lost, um, we've, we've lost just, um, we've, yeah, look, yep, yeah, that's it, done. Can, can we just get married? I just want to marry her. I, not, I screwed up a little, okay, and we, we don't have the money to go to Fiji, but I'll get you there one day. And, and the ring, the, the ring, I'll get you the real one, I promise. I just, I love you. I love you heaps, and you know, and, and yeah, I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. I love you. Sandy Island's wine at me, hon. Yeah. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I've been stressing for weeks. And I will get you the proper wedding ring. Actually, this one's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm just more peeved that you lied to me. Hey, no more. No more? No more. <laughs> Where's Sharon? Oh, she uh, went to a folks place. Said she had a detox from the embarrassment. You okay? Hell yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's a big rig with a couple of strays. <laughs> hey, what do you reckon about the new addition to the clan? Oh, oh, I reckon my sister's done fan bloody. I'll <laughs> say. I reckon you're a mad out of that hanging out with us, Bob. <laughs> oh, tell you, Shell, all this time we've been thinking Sam was a he. I never knew all this time. I really think know. of you no. every yeah. No, no, I'm just saying. Here we go. Here's cheese to Shell and Sam. Having a gay old time. <laughs> well, I knew about Shell's preferences all along. Sorry, Mum, I don't remember ever telling you. You didn't have to, Pet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe I'll trade Russ in for three weeks and see what the other side's like, eh? Right? <laughs> Yeah, well, here is to the reopening of the abattoir next week. Yes! Cheers to that! Here's the car for the bride and doom. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be angry if Greg happened to come along? <laughs> I'm not angry. Maybe a little annoyed. And Bob, and Russ, and Michelle? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I can see him looking at the line down again. Oh, my God. Honeymoon, husband and wife, alone. I know. 
The big rig wanted to get away for a few days before the abattoir reopens, so she dragged us all along for the ride. <laughs> Classic. It's over with Sharon, mate. What? When? Oh, she called last night. Mate. It's been on the cards for a while now, mate. Told the others. Nah. I'm gonna wait till we get home and all my upset mum. Yeah, you cool. I just I don't know. It hurts a lot more when it's real, you know. Listen about the money. I know I've spent a lot, but I want to make sure no, I get it all mate, back. Don't be stupid, seriously. We tried our hardest, we lost a little bit of money, but look where we are. Look who's here. We got everything we need right here, mate. It's gonna be alright. We're all gonna make sure of that. Bass! Bass! Boy! Come here, quick! Been in front of our eyes the whole damn time. You saw Russ the Sabo. What are you talking about? The boat! Right, we're gonna place the boat on top of this thing. Once it's out far enough, we just yank it off. Mate, do you know what time it is? I do. It's shark time. Alright, tags are ready. Let's wait and see. Really? Come on, go, go. Wait, 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 go! I'm gonna go in and grab it. Take it. Nice, Greg, how you going? We did it! Put the tags! 1716! 1716, Greg! You! You beauty! Is she going, Greg? Done it. We are going to be rich. Hold on, 
Get up, Ice! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>